Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is a custom Tableau workshop on how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. So this is a really powerful way of gathering data straight from the database rather than extracting it in Excel or CSV or text. You can connect directly to it and it has a lot of benefits including uh, being able to better live connect with the data. So here we're going to go Microsoft SQL and then I'm going to type the name of my SQL Server. In this case I'm using Tableau 9.0 and connecting to SQL Server Express 2014 but this should work with um, any other connection as well or any other version of the database that you have as well. So here I'm going to go select database sales.db. You can either go drag it and then connect this way and then do all these joins which is uh, useful. Uh, but what I prefer to do and oh it's up to you really is what I'm going to show you to do is how to create a new custom SQL. So here I'm going to teach you the basics. So select star which will select all the fields from sales. So it's, it's going to select all the columns from sales table. So you'll see it here. You could obviously as well type it out. Uh, sales person ID. I think one of them was quantity. Oh, okay. Didn't like, oh, I forgot to put a comma. And then you can see all the different components okay which is which is useful so what happens if I want to join in the customer data so here I'm going to go left join customers which is going to tell me that I'm going to do basically keep all the records in the sales data and then connect all the records that are in the customer data where applicable and I'm going to do it based off of so before I'm going to do this I'm going to go put an A which will just give me a shorthand notation for this data so here I'm going to go customer ID is equal to uh, B customer ID which means join them based off these two tables using customer ID and I'm gonna specify here you don't necessarily need to specify it because I don't think there's a salesperson ID in in the or the uh, in the customer data so it wouldn't get confused because it's unique but it's just good to have anyways I'm gonna start breaking this out so it's a little bit easier to see okay and then as well I'm gonna pull up the B first name C last name I'm assuming or B first name from the customer table uh, perfect so then if we pull that up so now you have the first name last name customer ID quantity and salesperson ID I'm not sure why it displays in reverse order, but it does for for whatever reason. Okay, perfect. I think we're also missing a few other ones, which I'm going to include here. So a dot product. Actually, yeah, actually product ID, and I think that's it. So now I should have all the fields I need from the customer, but you can keep doing keep adding on so here we can go for example products and I believe they both contain product ID we're gonna change this to C change this to C as well to product ID and then we can go up here and go C dot uh, what would I need to include in the products table so I think the only one I need to include is C name and I can put as and I'm gonna you can either put in single quotation or you can put in in the square box and I'm gonna go product name you yeah, know break this up to next the next row C product name and as well C price so now my table also includes the 
product name right here and as well the price okay that's that's useful maybe for example I also want to include uh, the revenue so here I'm gonna go C price times a quantity as revenue or let's call it sales amount Again, I'm using square brackets to denote this. So now we have a sales amount, which is useful and handy. And if we keep going forward, I think we have employees. Employee table. So here I'm going to copy this. Call this employees. I think on the first table, they call it salesperson ID. So in the sales data. And then here they call it employee ID okay so what would we, what would we want from uh, this employees data so employee data contains, contains first name middle name middle initial last name which can be a little bit confusing if we because we already have first name here so I'm just gonna go as customer first name and then I'm gonna do the same here as square bracket customer last name and to save some time I am basically going to copy this put this down here change this from a B to a D change this from customer to employee So for any of you that know SQL, this is going to be very familiar, the syntax and, and whatnot. Let's check it out. Okay, I probably made a mistake somewhere. Sales person, uh, valid comment. Okay. Let's just go here. Copy this. I might have typed something slightly wrong. Yeah, I put an extra I there. Perfect. Now we have all this data employee last name employee first name customer first name last name the product name price revenue sales and this can actually save a lot of time in this case the data is not that large or that complicated but this could save a lot of time doing some calculations here uh, and having uh, having that there so press ok and now we have this custom SQL data we come here now we have all this data. Another way you could have done it is that in SQL, I already created, uh, I already created some of this uh, views and changes. So I did it using this view data. Well, I did some of it, not necessarily all of it. But you can see how using views, actually, did I call it Sales Master. Yeah, that's it. There you go which contains all the joints already, which also could also save some time and effort. Anyways, really useful technique. If you have any questions or comments or any other topics that you want me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful anyway, give it a thumbs up and, and like it. Uh, and also I'll subscribe to, to the channel. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.